the senses are synergistic. Okay? They operate together. So the more senses that you trigger in your teaching, the more senses you can get your students to use in their learning actually accelerates or enhances their ability to learn and remember that information. That's why visual images are so powerful in our teaching. Okay, again, go back to evolutionary biology. What would have been the most important sense to survive on the savanna? Vision, far and away. More of, the cere or more of the sensory cortex of the human brain is devoted to vision than the other four senses put together because it's so crucial to our survival. So s the vision trumps all other senses in learning. Studies show, for example, give a lecture with no visual aids, wait a day and see how much your students remember, maybe 10%. Use visual aids and it goes up to 65%. Vision is huge. It needs to be integrated all the time into our teaching, both in terms of students using visual aids in their own learning, drawing maps, making outlines, drawing pictures, graphs, charts, as well as us using visual images in our teaching that illustrate the points we're trying to make. And this is the Proust effect that I was talking about. Emotion and memory, you know this. Emotion is powerful, but we now know the reason it's powerful in memory is it actually triggers parts of the brain that are used in making memories. Okay, the amygdala detects emotion. It essentially boosts activity in the areas of the brain that form memories. 